Alright, welcome back. Now, big thanks to Genesis Gaming for another collaboration. Honestly, uh, so far, I think we had some really good games, and Genesis Gaming is a very nice player to play with. Uh, have been enjoying our collaborations a lot, and I'm definitely looking forward for more in the future. Now, we'll be playing some uh, Tier 6, and yeah, I'll be, f I'll be, I'll be driving my T29. Uh, this thing has been performing really well so far, and well, let's let's jump right in. Now, uh, Genesis will be driving the T44122 platoon. The T44122 is a fantastic vehicle. I I don't have it yet, although it is on my uh, to buy list because that that vehicle seems to be quite interesting. That 122 mm gun is honestly quite scary on a medium tank, so uh, I'm definitely looking forward to experience the platoon myself oh and we have this map lovely oh my god did i forget to turn off yeah i forgot i forgot to turn off the grass oh my god this is going to be this is going to be all right then uh i'll try to go to my all the position well all position where i usually go with this vehicle yeah, I, I'm not going to be able to see anything from the grass, and I also seem to have ray tracing enabled, so... Yeah. I don't really... Uh, like to have the settings at maximum on some certain maps. Especially when I am sniping. Uh, and you, you will see what I'm talking about when I reach my position. I mean, the game looks absolutely stunning on, on maximum settings, but... When you want to aim, and when there is grass in the- Oh my god, look at the grass. I don't see anything! Oh, actually, I do see something. Uh, tiger 2. Ooh, that's nasty. Well, that was the first kill, I guess. This position is really good when you want to... Keep the enemy base occupied, and... On medium settings, I'm able to see the enemy tank much more clearer. With maximum... As you can see, the, the grass is basically in the way. Well, I think I'll manage. I don't, I don't want to go into settings right now. Especially not at this position. Another Tiger 2. If I can hit, I missed. That's M18. That Super Hellcat kind of in the way. Yeah, that Super Hellcat kind of messed up my my aim there. Did see something move, so I fired regardless. A T-54, maybe if I manage to hit the T-54 with the AP shell in the lower hull, maybe it will kill it, or maybe I have to use high explosive, yeah, I might use high explosive, and might try to overpressure it. Now, I did overpressure in the past with this vehicle, although I feel like this 105 is not really reliant, reliable at this distance for overpressuring, since it's not that accurate. This gun's accuracy is not bad, but you know it's not really accurate at this distance. So, well, good thing is my hull is hidden, so I'm usually not going to be taking a lot of damage from from any tank at this distance. Only if they somehow manage to land a, a shell between the turrets and hull, or if they somehow land a shell on the lower plate. But that's probably not going to happen at this distance. There's a T-54, yeah, not gonna hit that. I also did manage to hit that Tiger 2, but the shell didn't penetrate. Well, that's a nasty hit again. I, I love when I nail a Tiger 2 in the turret from this distance, that was a very good hit. Especially considering the fact how small that tank is from this distance, you barely see the thing. And I still managed to, to nail the, the shell right in the... right in the dirt. Now, let me see, where should I drop these bombs? Let's just drop them on that T-54. Because the T-54 is kind of the most problematic tank I missed with the bombs, lovely. And I failed to hit the lower plate. 
Yeah, this vehicle is good, but there are some vehicles that you can't really penetrate with the T29. The T54 is one of them. That vehicle is just has a very good throttle plate, sloped and and very dangerous. I got set on fire by the aircraft. No bombs. Okay. Well, uh, that was kind of unfortunate. Creeping back up, that M6A2 is also in the way. That is, I think that's the Super Hellcat from earlier in the same spot. I'm giving so I'm giving some cover fire here. Basically, from this position, you can support your team by giving support fire from the background. This is exactly what I'm attempting to do here. It works really good with vehicles that have a tough turret and vehicles that have tough front armor. T29, but that tiger saved it. All right. Well, we have a uh, it's gonna be the third Tiger 2 that's... That's the third Tiger 2. Well... Third Tiger 2 kill. What's up with the Tigers today? That's the, the... That's the third one in the... In the match. I also love how you can see my tracks where I was driving around there permanent. Okay, we have more vehicles creeping up. A T-54. Hit the tracks. Alright, now I might attempt to load high explosive and now I might attempt to overpressure the T-54. Oh my god, that grass. That flower, I don't see what I'm shooting at. I failed to overpressure, I missed. Well, I'll try it a couple more times, I guess. Okay, they shot at me, but they missed and I missed as well. Lovely. This is what I'm saying, the 105, this 105 isn't really the most accurate gun and in some cases you really have to flank the targets because the front might be just too tough uh, but it still does do some really nasty damage Okay, aircraft destroyed The bomber is saved, so the bomber can keep bombing, I can keep rolling with the tank Okay, T-54 is still there. I missed again. Failed to overpressure. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of luck with uh, overpressure with this vehicle. If this was the T-10A, the thing would have been overpressured in a second. The T-10A's 122 mm gun is just nasty. Oh look, a Yak Tiger. Wish I saved my shell for that one. Yeah, I, I'm just unable to do anything to that T-54. If, if I try to hit the lower plate on the sides where you can usually penetrate, I don't think I can do that at this angle and at this distance. Let me try over pressure again. I don't see where I'm shooting at because of the grass. Oh my god, the grass. The grass is in the way. Well, at least the game does look for you. It does look good on video, so I'm not going to complain about that at all. At least you have some nice graphics to look at. Well, I'm here suffering with the grass and suffering because I can't really see the target. Let's peek around the corner. T29. I think my teammates will be able to. Let me just track that thing one more time, there we go. Now this thing cannot move. And the T29 is completely immobilized, so hopefully my teammates will kill it. I'll just shoot the gun and then I'll probably move out. For a second I, I thought that might have been a bomber, guess not. Okay, well, let's keep on moving, I guess. 
Uh, might be time for me to move forward. That D29 is still alive. Well, let me try to shoot the commander. Not not going to do much, but you know. There we go. Did some damage at least. Well, for uh, for now at least. This match might be very close, actually, when I think about it. Yeah, we we kind of we are kind of losing, so I might have to, I might have to move forward a little. Bit. Of course, what's up with Panthers having? You know, Panthers have such troll armor. Sometimes you bounce, sometimes you kill them. Shooting in the same spot, by the way, uh, with this uh, with this vehicle, that's kind of annoying in some cases because the Panther, you know, it's not. The Panther is not the the best medium tank, but you will bounce that thing if if you have no luck. So the Panther is a troll vehicle, not gonna lie. The armor on that thing, not the best, but it can bounce stuff. That's a T10A. Now I can give some background support from this position. If that T10A goes forwards, I might be able to put one shell right in the side, somewhere below the below the spaced side armor and below the between the tracks actually between the tracks and the hull where there is no spaced armor. Well, uh, time for me to move forward. Time for me to join the front lines, I guess. Okay, there is the T10A. I did manage to hit, but my shell actually did go in. Okay, it did did some damage. Now I am. I have a clear view on the side, and T10A destroyed. That was a beautiful hit in the side armor. Let's keep on moving forward. And maybe... Oh, hold on a second. Someone is capturing our base. Okay. Well, I guess I have to eliminate the base camper. This is a... That was a tortoise. Well, it was. Now it's dead. That was a good kill. Let's keep on moving forward. Now, this time I'm actually going to go to the base because I have to help out. Okay, they are capturing. That means I have to join. Type Tiger 2. Tiger 2, just barely visible. Just barely visible. We also got bombed. We lost. We lost one tank, two bombs. The Tiger 2 is still behind. There, there is the Tiger 2. Okay, they're moving forwards. Yeah, moving forwards. Actually, it wasn't a Tiger 2. That was a SPAA. Well, that's good to know. That's one more kill. That's kill number six. I have no idea where the Tiger went. Was right around the corner. Yes, not anymore. Another SPAA. Okay. Let me see if they like my machine guns. There we go. My machine guns did the job. Nice, that was a good, good kill. Kill number seven. All right, well, let's go and let's capture the base. That was a, this was a fantastic game. That was a fantastic match. Probably one of the best rounds that we had in a, in a while. And this is probably my thumbnail. I have to do some editing to to get the T44 in the view there, but that was a very good match. And look at those medals. That was a very good, very good match. 
Well, uh, that was it for today. It was, uh, again, a fantastic, fantastic match. Uh, and I really enjoyed it. So if you guys would like to support me, feel free to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to like and subscribe to Genesis Gaming. Fantastic player. And honestly, uh, we have been playing a lot lately. And it's been fun. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed Stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.